Okay, I'm going to show you my, uh, well, it's titled as a 1980 um, FLH uh, Harley shovel head. Um, it's uh, not uh, entirely original, obviously. It's got a lot of different parts on it, but extremely nice bike, daily rider. Um, tons of tons of recent work that I've done myself. I've been through this entire bike. Um, motor out, complete frame restoration, so um, I can answer any questions. And... Uh, it's a really, really nice, reliable rider. Um, new tires on it. It's running Shinco. Um, I always forget the number. What are they? Uh, two, yeah, two seventies, which are the vintage tread uh, Shinco tires, and they're excellent. Um, it's got um, original Harley forks on it. This thing originally had. Um, a set of lifeline lowers that were kind of cheap um, so I have a set of original Harley forks on it now um, that have been completely rebuilt new seals oil all that uppers have been powder coated um, entire uh, frame has been powder coated sandblasted and powder coated um, all black um, aftermarket uh, chrome banana calipers front and rear spoke rims in nice shape all the electronics are brand new, complete charging system, rotor, stator, regulator, um, battery, all that stuff. Um, the motor is an s, &S uh, it's a 93 inch, so it's a big bore and stroker motor. Um, I have 400 miles on a complete teardown and reseal of the motor. I did not replace piston and rings, they were all in good shape. Um, the Heads were in good shape as well, but I lapped the valves when I was reassembling it. So, <clears throat> as you can see, it does not leak at all. And uh, tanks are in good shape. Obviously, it's uh, an old repaint, um, and there's some uh, chips in the paint and all. Um, but it's a nice, thick paint job. It's far from perfect, but it looks nice with uh, the overall look of the bike. Um, I think they're built well, 12-inch uh, narrow apes on it, and uh, they fit the bike nice. Um, all new, brand new cables, magnum shielding, um, custom uh, link throttle and clutch cables, all brand new. Um, let's see, about 400 miles on my complete uh, rebuild, 383 miles. This was a new Speedo put in at the rebuild. So we'll look at that in a minute. Um, it's got a LaPera barebone seat on it. Brand new um, V-Twin manufacturing oil tank. Um, I had that, there was an aftermarket chrome oil tank on it that was leaking, I wasn't a fan of. Um, brand new starter relay. Um, it's running an Ultima um, ignition. Brand new electronic ignition. Um, have aircraft stainless steel style clamps on the intake and new rubber, as well as a uh, um, New carb bracket, uh, SNS carb bracket. It's running a, I always mix them up, a Super G, I believe, the larger of the SNS Super carbs uh, for the big bore motor. Jetted correctly, um, and uh, it's located here in Fort Collins, Colorado, so we're at like 5,000 feet. It's jetted perfectly for here. And you can see the SNS logos. And verified with SNS, uh, I verified the flywheels with them, so they are, um, uh, it is a full 93 inch uh, motor. Uh, built the flywheels at least were sold in 1996 uh, for whatever that's worth titled in the frame is uh, a 1980 FLH um, new chain TC Brothers I believe and um, plated and registered in Colorado as a motorcycle a collector motorcycle five-year registration <laughs> running mufflers on it with uh, true dual exhaust which is nice. There's no crossover, just straight duels. Um, it has a, um, a Primo Rivera um, one and a half inch uh, belt uh, primary in it uh, that works very well with the tensioner actually, and it works great. Floorboards, and um, these are 3D printed. Uh, the Derby cover and the the um, I don't know, tensioner cover, um, and I will be taking these off and keeping them. 
So being a dry cover, I will probably sell it without covers on it. You can provide your own. Um, or if I scrounge up some OEM covers or something, I'll put them on. Um, There's brand new clutch cable and um, all new wiring on this. Uh, it's running a Moto Gadget M Unit Blue, which is a really nice uh, electronics controller for the bike. Super reliable, all brand new wiring harness. Um, you'll see it is taped here. I've never been able to make this headlight trim ring stay on correctly. And let's move around. Quick disconnects on the fuel tanks, which is really nice. New exhaust gaskets. Um, push rods adjusted. Does have solid lifters with adjustable push rods. Um, all new seals, of course, in the push rod tubes. Um, you do get a little bit of oil uh, kind of blasting around here. They'll collect some dirt, but um, no no major leak at all there. You can see the SNS case. <laughs> It's got an aftermarket, uh, I think a Kelsey Hayes style master cylinder for the rear that's been rebuilt. Um, stainless steel brake lines everywhere. And new Speedo cable as well. And timing cover, which is a cool old cast. Uh, I'm not sure what it's made out of, pewter or something. Um, <clears throat> Battery box was chrome. I uh, painted that. Good battery. Um, it's got a an aftermarket five-speed transmission. I believe it's a Baker, but I'm not positive on the brand. Um, shifts excellent. All the gears are great, and it's really nice having a five-speed uh, with the shovel. Um, starter works great. All new oil lines. Um, we have uh, brass or bronze, I'm not sure, um, oil lines that split and run separately to feed each cylinder head, which is really nice. And here's a new uh, SNS uh, carb bracket on there, so we don't get any shaking of the carb, because I did wear out a set of um, uh, rubber uh, seals on the intake because the carb shook too much. So new bracket cured that. Um, braided steel lines to the rear. Got a another aftermarket chrome banana caliper on the rear. New pads front and rear. Shocks are good. Um, same tire, Shinko on the rear. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think what else. Just put a new filter in the oil tank. Fender's in nice shape. And you'll see the Colorado collector plate, which is a five-year registration. Kind of cool tombstone skull tail light that I like to kept that. Of course, my Dixon flannel shovel head sticker. So you'll see there's plenty of little dings and scratches in the paint here. It's an old paint job. Um, I would guess late 80s, early 90s, not really sure. So anyways, yeah, it's a very nice, reliable bike that's been completely gone through and serviced. And got enough miles on it that I'm confident in it. I've had a blast with it, always wanted a shovel head. This thing has been an awesome project. Um, but I won't be riding it for the winter and... I generally sell off my projects at the end of the year and do something new for next year. So I think I'm ready to go on this one. Rode it all summer, had a great time with it. So go ahead and turn on our ignition. So that's a cold start. Uh, well, I just rolled it down the street. It ran for about 10 seconds. So. Um, I guess not entirely cold, but it always starts extremely easy with choke and a little squirt of gas from the accelerator pump. That's it. Uh, great bike for sale. Let me know if you uh, have any questions or need any other info. And I'll try and film a riding video on my GoPro here soon so you can see it taking it for a spin. All right, see ya.